Hello guys, welcome back to another 3D modeling tutorial video. In this video, I will show you how to model this table with FreeCAD 1.0. Let's get started. Let's pick parametric part template and I am on part design workbench. Let's start creating the sketch using this create sketch command. Pick XY plane. Click on rectangle command and start sketching at the origin. Type 50 and press enter. Type 40 and enter. The dimensions used in this tutorial are not realistic, only for learning purposes. Close the window. Pick pad command to give thickness. Type 30 and press enter. Right click and select fill all to see the model closer. Pick these two edges, press Ctrl key for multiple selection and click on the fillet command to make the edges round. Let's make the radius 16 mil and press enter. Let's rotate the view so we can see the back of the model. Pick these two edges and apply fillet again. Type 10 mil for the radius and press enter. Select these faces, press Ctrl key for multiple selection. To rotate the view, press and hold the middle mouse button and then press and hold the left mouse button. Select all of these five faces and click on thickness command. Type 2 mil for the thickness and press enter. Now click on Create Sketch Tool. Pick XY Plane. Switch to wireframe style so we can see all the edges. We need some reference lines from existing solid so the new sketch will constrain to it. Rotate the model looking from this direction. and click on create external geometry command. Pick the following edges. These edges will be projected on this new sketch. Pick this rectangle command and draw a rectangle Starting on this edge and finish it somewhere here. Click on this tool to add corner radius. Pick this point and this point. Right click to exit the command. Click on this icon and click on the line command to draw construction lines. Draw lines between the points like this. Right click to exit the command. Let's rotate the view so the X will align horizontally and Y will align vertically. Click on the arrow twice. Now X and Y are aligned correctly. Now I will add horizontal and vertical constraints to these construction lines. I am applying horizontal constraints to these two lines. And vertical constraints to these two lines. 
right click to exit let me add dimension so it will be fully constrained zoom in and type final now the sketch is fully constrained click here to rotate the view pick isometric view from the list you can also type zero on your keyboard for isometric view click this tool to turn on solid lines and return to shaded style view click to close the window Now pick the pocket command, select through all type, and turn on reversed option. Click OK to close the window. Check the model. Now I'm going to mirror this solid part to make other side. Pick this mirror command and pick select reference plane option and pick this face. Click OK. Check the model. Now pick this top face and click create sketch command. Pick center rectangle command from this drop down list. And draw a rectangle starting on this axis. Type 120 for the width and press enter and 60 for the height and press enter. Right click to exit the command. As you can see, the sketch is under constraint. Click on this command and click on these points. Right click to exit and select these new points and center point of the rectangle. Apply this constraint to make it center of the existing solid. Click to close the window. Click on pad command. Type 2 mil for the thickness and press enter. Check the model. Let's make these corners round. Select these edges. And click on fillet command. Type 28 for the radius and press enter. Check the model. Let's add roundness to the top edge of the table. I pick this face and click on fillet command to add radius. Leave the 1 mil and click OK. Check the model. The model is now complete. Please comment below if you have any questions. Also, please don't forget to subscribe so you will get notifications when I upload new videos. Thank you and see you soon.